So we're students at the Conway School, and one unique aspect of the Conway School is that it allows students like us to work on real projects for real clients that might have an impact on the local food system. And I'm here to tell you about one of those projects, the farmland and food shed study that we're conducting on behalf of the Franklin Regional Council of Governments. So this is one, an, one preliminary step in a larger food shed um, assessment, and it will inform FERCOG's um, regional plan for sustainable development. The main question of this study is that are there enough acres of farmland in Franklin County to feed to and meet the nutritional needs of Franklin County's projected future population of 77,000 people? So to address this question, Laura and I used a local food shed analysis. There are many models of food shed analyses out there based on different diets and based on different regions, but we um, we applied a food shed analysis known as the New England Good Food Vision. And um, so assuming this diet, this model, this analysis, the New England Good Food Vision assumes um, the use of sustainable agriculture and it also um, assumes a diet that is based exclusively upon foods that can be grown in New England. Um, and the local food analysis indicates that 33,000 acres of farmland would be needed to meet Franklin County's residents' nutritional needs. Using geospatial analysis, we um, looked at the amount of farmland that is currently in production in Franklin County and found it to be 37,000 acres. So the takeaway is that there is enough farmland in Franklin County for Franklin County to be completely food self-sufficient. However, this would only leave about 4% of the farmland that could contribute to a regional food system. So although Franklin County could be completely food self-sufficient, whether, um, whether or not they would want to be is a choice that they have to make. So one aspect of the New England Food Food Vision is that it advocates not for complete um, food self-sufficiency. It advocates for maximizing the local food shed potential of an area, which means that it takes into account um, how much food can be grown and what types of food can be grown on Franklin County's farmland and expands that to not only um, maximize foods that are needed for the population, but that could offer, um, offer the resources needed for the larger region. Um, for um, the local, the regional food system. So one thing that we looked at in our study was to compare um, what it would look like to pursue um, complete self-sufficiency in Franklin County versus looking at a more um, regionally oriented um, food system. One aspect of our study was also to consider um, protection of farmland and this model suggests that Franklin County has a lot of agricultural resources that could be prioritized for protection. And the question may be, how might um, farmland protection support increased um, food, su support the local food system or the potential for local food? So taking a step back, the implications of our study also show that Franklin County may have a greater economic and other um, advantages when pursuing a regional model um, or looking at increasing food production um, which supports a regional um, food system as opposed to a more local self-sufficient one. Franklin County um, may have enough um, farmland to um, export foods that are needed for um, the Boston metro areas and other larger populations that don't have the land resources to grow their own foods while also being able to grow about enough food to meet about 80% of Franklin County's um, projected population's nutritional needs. So this is really interesting information which can be a conversation starter and which can suggest the importance of the protection of farmland and the value of farmland in Franklin County. Thank you.